and then you're subject to the Shethar, which is losing your home. Apply the fader model to distributors in a country, and there would not be Marxist contrived class wars or cultural divides. Had our country not been purposely managed downwards, and all our mineral wealth had not been asset stripped, <coughs> hijacked and leased off, our nation's assets, gas, water, electric, rail, post office, banks, farming and industry would, will, would still belong to our nation. Our last line of defence, nationalism, needs to remove the pirate administrators in order to extinguish the leases. Under nationalism, our assets would have a moral shelter for a true government to socially redistribute our wealth throughout the nation for our people's discounting services. NHS, transport, gas, electric, tax, all heading back into our national bank. No profits will be paid out to private profiteers who only weaken and siphon out of our economy to greedy speculators, shareholders or offshore companies. A nationalist government would allow our own finances to be redistributed into national productive industries using protectionism and most importantly would socially secure a future for our indigenous tribe. The same goes for other vulnerable third world nations around the globe whose existence has been relegated and dependent on charities. And there's a link there. Let's have a look because that's been an important one. The charities. Jewish Trust. Oh, <laughs> maybe another time. So, the same contrived self-interest begging charity designed to play on our emotions and compassion like save the African child or save the child brides we are being emotionally challenged to engage in this Marxian deception which is not just killing the vulnerable poor in these neglected distant lands it is also a consenting manipulative way to harvest more white hate voting guests into Europe for the ideology all this Jewish Zionist deceptions would be of the past as these nations, using protectionism and distributism, would be self-sufficient, being liberated from Jewish Zionism. A protectionist government here in Great Britain alone would help rebuild our manufacturing, farming, fishing industries, armed forces and border control. This would allow armed forces to do the proper job of protecting within our own borders, instead of protecting the wider borders and distant lands for the Jewish multinationals. For example, we work and make profits for the national services, water, electric, etc. We then take our wage pack from the national services home to pay for these services supplied to our homes by the same national services. We pay our interest-free mortgages that we have raised from the national bank, the same bank that the national services pay into. Our national bank in turn invests in small creative cottage industries, entrepreneurs that feed back into the national bank, working and feeding our economy upwards instead of capitalist created debt downwards. But that was always the way of England anyway, was to have skilled trades come through families and there was farming and fishing and, you know, it was like dad, lad and granddad type of idea where the granddad had been the shoemaker, the dad was the shoemaker and the lad was the shoemaker and you know each inherited the legacy of their forebears. Now and again obviously in families that had more than one, two, three, four children there would be you know the girls would be homemakers and be having more children and generally and you know the women wouldn't just do that it's also also um you know do business like my great grandmother had i don't know how many children but certainly my grandmother had 10 well her mother was one of liverpool's first business women so you know don't talk to me about women in business i know exactly about women in business and yeah they can be successful and they can have children and they can be in a family environment there's no need for all of the women all to jump on the bandwagon of all being, you know, hip hop um, liggers, you know, tagons, groupies, and what have you, and all 
give up their biological means in order to be the new men, as they're called in China. Because all the women over there are all turning into men. Because that's what the ideology dictates now that they're taking on capitalism in the most communist way. And we seem to be taking on communism in the most capitalist way. A or Marxist. So, our National Bank and Tim would invest in small creative cottage industries, entrepreneurs that feed back into the National Bank, working and feeding our economy upwards instead of capitalist create, created debt downwards. This distributionism in action, a total recycling of national and local economy, surely we would all soon face a greater standard of living, working fewer hours for a sensible salary. Literally within about two weeks, all of the buses, you know, all of the public transport would be done a fantastic. All of the streets would be clean. You know, the, the infrastructure would just dictate to the public services how things would be, rather than the internationalists dictating to the governments about how to siphon off all the capital. It would be about labour resources ruling the country and that would just breed um, pride and quality. So if only the masses woke up to this common sense approach and socially take back what is rightfully ours anyway, this is our only way for people to get access to our country's assets and mineral wealth, commerce industry for sharing and redistribution amongst great British society as nationalism, not the global village scam which is the ruling Jewish Zionist regime indoctrinates the ma it indoctrinates the masses with. It is nationalism for the nation's sleeping indigenous mass. The antithesis. When our last line of defence nationalism socially secures its rightful place in our homeland, there would not be a need for Marxist contrived class wars. Newborn babies will be born death free, but will not be bo will be born death free and asset rich. No need for this treadmill we survive on. Close all borders. Nationalism, uh, nationalism would just take it all back, using the same method used to take it from us. That was all nominal. With the stroke of a pen, long term leases given to private corporations. who then became long-term agents to supply utilities and public services at inflated costs, fire monopolies and price fixing. A self-financing gift for the selective Jew globalists financially draining our economy, bringing us closer to their goal of complete servitude. For every pound paid to offshore utilities or to any fat cat monopolies or any foreign high street shop, we have to increase our long-term borrowings from Jewish Zionist Fractional Reserve Banking, which is again a false economy. You can't pay interest due in, in a dying economy, which is being forced to die eh, on loans, which are toxic. You know, all, the, all of the boom bust, like the bust parts have all been built on toxic assets, which is a misnomer in itself, you know, they're just toxic, they're not assets, it's just toxic Judaism. Once that tangible money spent offshore, it is no longer in circulation, it has to be replaced with more of Shylock's printed quantitative easement worthless shite. And basically the, the offshore banking is like hoarding for interest, so it actually is looking to be part of the usury system. So it looks to siphon off the monies from the nations, send it to offshore banks, where obviously everything's electronic now. So all of the wealth is just banked in cyberspace. <laughs> Which means that you go to work on a daily basis, you do a full day's work and whatever production value that you made will be siphoned off and sent to cyberspace. How's that for return on investment? Somewhere in the future, this worthless printed shite acting like a steroid to our economy will have reduced its value to worthless. And so, just like Cyprus and Greece, March 2013, the crash for us too is inevitable, which also leave the Jewish Zionist crime families vulnerable. 
but these Shylocks have well forecast this contrived coming disaster and are already gearing up towards introducing a new monetary replacement as well as the globally shifting their financial power base to China and Russia, enabling them to go unscathed to double dip profit and leave the goy gentile like startled rabbits in the headlights of an oncoming train. Christians may be defrauded in Babakama 113b. All property of all other nations belongs to the Jewish nation, which consequently is entitled to seize upon it without any scruples. Saboteurs.